Members of the oil and gas drilling industry have indicated a desire for safer, easier, and faster way to attach a float shoe and various other accessories to drill casing. Fay Tool and Design has met that need by designing a specialized tool specific to that need. Prototypes have been fabricated and meet industry standard testing methods. Patents are pending both in Canada and the USA. This video is intended to train personnel who are, who are already engaged or being trained in the process of connecting accessories to drill pipes and casings. A safer and easier method is through the use of the Fay tool and design downhole support tool. For ease of reference, we will use the term DST when referring to this specialized tool. Also, though we are using a float shoe for this video, we will be referring to the term accessory through, throughout since the DST can be used for several things other than the float shoe. The DST has two components, cage and a stand or a plate. To maintain integrity and safety of the DST, do not lift by the cage. The lower profile plate configuration has three handles that can easily be used to maneuver it into place on the deck floor. It also has a bracket on the bottom to hold it in place over the wellbore. When the plate is in place, the cage can be installed by inserting the spindle into the receptor. Make sure the cage turns freely and set screws are turned back so that there is room for the accessory to fit. This is a caution area. Fingers can get pinched. Be aware that the DST is marked in specific cautionary areas so there should be no guesswork and no pinched fingers. The accessory is now ready to install. In this case we are using a certified drum lifter with a capacity of 2,000 pounds. The float that we are using weighs approximately 240 pounds. Carefully attach the drum lifter to the float shoe. Apply only enough tension to, to the lifter so that you can recheck to make sure that holders are properly in place. Lift the float shoe and carefully set it into the cage. With some tension still on the drum lifter, begin to center the float shoe with the set screws. The set screws need to center the float shoe as well as pre prevent it from spinning inside the cage. Torque will, will vary depending on the accessory being installed. Release the tension off the drum lifter and remove the holding brackets. The DST is now holding the float shoe and is in place to begin threading the casing, hand tight. Lower the casing slowly over the float shoe so that the threads begin to touch. The DST cage will tilt, if needed, to allow proper threading to begin. Be sure of the clearly marked possible pinch points. For your safety, use the handles on the cage to thread. When there is sufficient tightness, loosen the set screws so that the casing and accessories can be removed from the DST. The task of mounting this float shoe, hand tight, to the drill casing is now accomplished without strain or injury. The stand model is another tool that has a unique design as it comes with a hand jack which allows the operator to lift the accessory up to the threads of the casing. When using the stand model, always make sure the jack is in the lowered position before installing the cage. Once the cage is installed, make sure it, make, it moves freely and the set screws are set back leaving ample room for the accessory to fit. Also this can be an area that fingers can be pinched. Use caution as the tool is being lowered into the cage. Use the set screws on the cage to center and hold the accessory. 
Remember, the DST is designed for hand tighten only. Use appropriate tools for more torque. Thank you for viewing this safety video. Everyone at Fay Tools and Design wants you to work safe.